So, there's this channel on YouTube that um, I don't think anybody's really talking about. The only one I've actually seen a video on is uh, Mice Critical. He did a video on it, and uh, it was it was pretty good. I mean, he just made fun of the, the cooking videos, but I think there's a little bit more to it than that. So uh, today I want to focus on this channel, well there's actually two channels, there's one called Paul Foster and there's another one called Paul4608. Um, these channels, they're incredibly off-putting for some reason to me. I don't know what it is, it could be the camera quality or the outlandish themes of some of these videos, but for some reason they're just very off-putting to me, and I do not know why. Some other people I've talked to around me, they think these videos aren't that weird, but then some think that they're like ramblings of a madman. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll leave that for you guys to decide. You think these are outlandish and weird, or, you know, they're just kind of normal? I don't think they're normal, though. And I have a few examples on why I don't think they're normal. My first example of um, the weirdness of these videos is a video called Tales from No Bend. I don't know if he's trying to be funny here, or I, I, I really can't tell. I wish I could. Because it could be some sort of irony that I'm not understanding or uh, some, some sort of satire that I don't understand. But I don't see it as that. Maybe you guys do. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. So basically in the video, it starts in this village and, well, it says the village of No Bend. And, well, it's basically... Uh, video of him holding the camera and looking at these uh, models that he created and there's one where it's the priest I'm guessing and he's so-called shagging a sheep in front of the church this part alone just makes me wonder about this person um, he's very strange as you can see and these videos are fairly recent there's one thing that I have noticed, though, is that he goes through a lot of trouble to make these videos, and he uses very little to any digital editing at all. These are basically raw cuts, and he tries to get it all in one shot, and if he doesn't, then he tries to reset it. Um, That's interesting, and it must take a lot of work to do that. But I don't understand this video. It comes as a weirdness to me and it has some sort of uh, atmosphere around it. Um, it's just very off-putting to me. So anyway, um, and later in the video, uh, he goes, well, a citizen, I'm guessing, or a policeman, I don't, I can't really tell through the uniform, but he goes and he comes up to the priest and he says, what would the bishop have to say about this? The priest responds, he can get his own sheep. And the video just sort of ends. I mean, it really doesn't end because he puts down the camera because he didn't cut that part of the video, which is another thing that's kind of off-putting to me. He, like, he goes through all of this work, but he doesn't do a simple cut, which is off-putting. I don't know why, it just is. So I'm going to play the video right now and you got and just look at this video and tell me if you think that there's something a little bit off about it. Oh dear, what is the vicar up to? It looks as though he's shagging a sheep right in front of the church. Stop that at once, says the policeman. What would the bishop say about that? 
They can get a sheep of his own, says the vicar. So I have another example of weirdness from Paul Foster. And this, the last video, Tales from No Bend, was on his Paul Foster channel. This next example is actually a follow-up to the first video I showed you. Um, it's called Tales from No Bend, The Vicar's Revenge. And it basically consists of this, I'm guessing a policeman, puts a parking ticket on a car. And as revenge, the person who received the ticket runs over the policeman. I did actually find this whole thing to be quite funny, but it's still kind of off-putting just because of the camera work and the models. Here's the whole video right now. This is PC Twat. He's just put a parking ticket on this lorry. I bet he's really proud of himself. Oh dear, what's happening now? You better watch out. Oh dear me, what's happened? I think the vicar's taken his revenge. <coughs> There's another weird thing that the Paul Foster and the Paul 4608 channels, they both do is cooking. Apparently cooking is a very big part on these channels and there are a lot of videos about cooking. Some of these meals they don't look, well, how should I say it, the most appetizing. Some of them look interesting to say. For example, the one that Moist Critical made a video on, the castle cake suitable for a children's birthday. Um, This just doesn't look that appetizing and I uh, most critical basically said the same thing but these are some of the most normal videos on these channels they don't look that off-putting to me and they just look like normal cooking videos as because there are a lot of cooking videos on youtube these are the most normal to me at least i find the weirdest videos made by this person to be on the paul foster channel not the paul 4608 channel there's this one in particular that i think is really strange it's caught on camera that's the title of the video. Um, it is just strange in multiple ways. Here, I'll show the clip right now.
As you can see, this video is very strange, and I don't think I really have to explain it to you, but I'm going to anyway. It's just this man, I guess he's doing some sort of workout or warm-up of a workout on these stairs, and Paul is just filming him for some reason. I don't know, I don't understand why he's filming him, but it's this is also just very off-putting to me. This whole channel is off-putting to me, and it just, there's just something that's wrong about it. It's this feeling that I get while watching these videos. It's probably due to the old camera quality, or the continuous breathing into the camera. There's another series that Paul likes to do. It's the scavenger series, where he goes around and he picks up things that other people don't want and he uses them. And I I'm all for it, you know, recycling, let's go, you know, just re try to recycle. but. It's still very weird. Like he picks up in this first video, he picks up wood that he found for free, and you know, I, I'm not against that. Using wood that you find and nobody else is going to use, you know, that's fair. I mean, you can use it to build stuff. And it looks like in his skits that he really needs that wood to help build support for his other skits. Anyways, I don't find these videos to be very off-putting. They're one of the more normal videos on his channel. There is, however, a video that I think is very weird. There's two of these videos that of this type. It's one's called The Workman and The Workman 2. It just is him filming this construction crew outside of his house, I'm guessing, and he's playing a guitar in the background. Now this, I don't know why he would do this. Um... It's just very off-putting to me. I know I keep saying off-putting a lot, but I don't really have another word to describe how I feel. It's just off. Something that doesn't seem like that should be happening. You know, it's not normal to me, I don't think. And the video quality is just different. I'll show a clip of it now. I'm not going to show the whole video because it's like three to six minutes long. Another example of this weird channel is a video called Power Rangers. And it's basically just a video of him with a Power Rangers figurine, um, putting him in weird places and next to a toilet. Again, I don't know if he thinks this is funny or if this is his fourth form of comedy. And if it is, you know, comedy is subjective. So this could be hilarious to him, but I just don't see the humor in it. I do, however, think that this is a very weird video. And unfortunately, they just get weirder from here on out. Now we're going to move on to his other channel, Paul4608. This is his older channel, and I think it's a little bit weirder. This is the channel that Moist Critical covered, and the channel with the famous castle cake suitable for a children's party. This is also the channel with the Urban Golfer series, and... The scavenger series I was talking about earlier. There's also another series that he does on this channel that I think is very off-putting. It's called Captain Bob's Island. He has about five parts to these, and they're all very strange. It looks like he puts a lot of time and effort into these skits, so I don't think that they're terrible or even bad at that. I think they're really well put together. I just think that they're kind of weird. Again, I come back to the way he films and the way he puts together his videos. I just think that it's a weird way to do it 
and I also think that the camera quality and the way the camera is is off-putting. It gives it more of a retro feel and I don't know if that's what he was going for and that's why he chose this camera but it does make it feel like it's an older video. Now, I don't know if this is intentional or if he couldn't afford a different camera. I don't know. Again, another strange video on this is a video called Blank Page. It's just seven minutes and 10 seconds of just black screen. Nothing else is on this video. I just don't understand some of the things on this channel. There is also another video called My Other Chair is a Sofa. I am going to play it right now. It's only 14 seconds long, and you can just judge it for yourself. I have a theory on Paul Foster and the videos that he makes. I think that he might be mentally ill. I don't think it's very badly mentally ill. If he is mentally ill, I am not sure. But he could be suffering from something that I don't know about. I have tried looking more about him online, and it is incredibly hard because nobody is talking about him. The only thing I could find is a Steam group by the name of Paul Foster. It's some group that apparently just memes him and they just talk about him on there but it's very inactive and he also has a subreddit with a few followers and it's unactive and i don't see many people talking on there there are a few posts but nothing worth noting about there was a post that are they are asking the same questions that i'm asking right now i don't have the enough knowledge to make a full theory on this. It's just very off-putting to me, and I don't know if anybody out there knows more information about Paul Foster, or maybe there's something deeper to these videos that I just can't see. I don't know if anybody else knows the answer to these videos. He could just be making these videos for fun. Maybe he really enjoys uh, cinematography, and he thinks that making these videos is fun. And, you know, uh, who am I to judge him for that? But the way that they're filmed and the way that they're uploaded and the type of comedy, it's just off-putting and it feels like there's something deeper inside. I don't really know about the whole meaning behind these videos, but I'm just trying to get this out there so more people know about it. Because I have not seen anybody talking about this except Moist Critical and a few people on some forums online. I don't know much about Paul Foster other than what the, I've seen from these forums and his YouTube videos. It's just that his content is extremely off-putting to me, and it looks like there might be a deeper meaning in some of these videos. But you never know. It could just be like a surface-level thing, and there's no deeper meaning at all. You know, it could just be him making videos online because he thinks that it's fun. But then some of these videos are really outlandish, which makes me think that they have deeper meaning. So anyways... I think I just have fallen too deep in this rabbit hole. I don't have a full theory about Paul Foster, and I don't know if I ever will. It really just depends on how much more he shows us about his life. Keep in mind that all of these videos are pretty old, uh, around 8 years old to a few years old. He is uploading consistent i mean not consistently but he has uploaded recently by the time i made this video but his last upload was four days ago and it seems that he still enjoys uploading these videos and cooking is still a very big part of his channel i don't have anything uh, much else to say on paul foster all of his videos they're kind of off-putting and they make me feel uneasy when i watch them I don't think I have really anything else to cover in this video, and if you liked the content in this video, you can hit that like button, or if you didn't like it, then thumbs it down. But if you want to see more, then you can hit subscribe, and that just shows me that you want more content like this, and it shows me that I should keep making videos about mysteries that really nobody's talking about. Well, anyway, have a nice day. I hope you learned something in this video, and goodbye.